Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Pinky. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back, my lovelies. Here we are with the Tarot Lessons 101. Yay! Finally, we've been extremely busy, but I'm giving these uh, Tarot Lessons 101 with the minor arcanas back to back. So if you see this, just know that in the next coming day or two, the swords and et cetera, et cetera, is going to continue. Okay. All right. Let's get to the needy greedy. So as always here, we're starting off here with the pentacles, which is the element of earth. What does it represent? The energy of earth or pentacles is a representation of everything that has to do with the material. Now material can represent your finances. It can represent your physical, actual body. It can represent possessions. So this is about uh, finances, this is about career, this is about goals and aspirations, but more than anything, this is the material aspect of it. So when we get into the minors, what is important for you guys to understand is that the aces, all aces are going to represent the essence or the true essence of that suit, meaning whether it's pentacles, whether it's swords. Uh, whether it's wands or whether it's um, cups. So every single ace is a very powerful, powerful card. Think of it as the uh, major of the minor arcanas, so to speak. And knowing or keeping in mind that the aces are, like I said, the essence of the suit itself. Moving on to the number two, three, and four in any suit does not matter. Two, three, and four represent the cardinal signs. Cardinal signs are uh, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Moving on, five, six, and seven are a representation of the fixed energy, which is Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. And finally, eight, nine, and 10 are a representation of the mutable signs. Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. Why is this important? Because with the tarot, as it is important to understand every single card and what it represents, the energy that it bestows or the energy that it vibrates to, you can also be able to time or to tell time, season, or time frames, um, looking at the cards that are coming out or that are continuously repeating. As an example, if you were to be doing a reading and you get multiple twos, then it could be an indication that you're looking about the time frame of the cardinal signs um, and vice versa, fixed or mutable, uh, etc. So this is why it's important to understand or to know what the uh, minors represent, uh, the energy that they're carrying. Keeping in mind, like I mentioned, all aces are the true essence of that suit. All right, so let's begin here with the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is the essence of the Pentacle suit. It is the beginning seed. It is the uh, power and the full potential that it can have. When you get the Ace of Pentacles, it usually indicates everything that is earned or that is being gifted to you. Think of it as a gift from God or the sky or the universe giving or making way for you. When you get the Ace of Pentacles in any type of reading, it is a great omen because it represents gift or being gifted something, whatever it is that you're asking or that you are uh, putting a request for will definitely come through. It is a representation of opportunities, stability, um, perhaps if you're doing a reading for someone and you get the Ace of Pentacles, it can also indicate the very beginning stages of the most financial stability that this client or person that you're consulting has ever experienced. It is the full potential of it. Like I mentioned, it does represent um, gifts being given to you or uh, basically the universe conspiring to bring to you that which you deserve. Um, so this can be a very predictable, uh, card when you, of course, depending on the other cards that follow or that you pull out, as an example, if you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Cups and, uh, the Nine of Wands, it can foretell, uh, commitment or higher elevation of commitment, 
which would represent the actual ring or an engagement coming. Um, so again, it is a very beautiful and very powerful card. Moving on, we're going to go now with the Two of Pentacles. Now, the Two of Pentacles is a very interesting card because it has the infinity symbol it has chaotic energy in the background but even through all of these distractions or through what life would have it right because we all know that life can be very unpredictable uh things can come out of nowhere and it can get chaotic and it can get crazy sometimes when you get the two of pentacles it is an indication that the client is doing an amazing job at maintaining or juggling certain um, aspects in their life. It can represent that they are uh, having a lot to deal with or that they have a lot on their table. However, they are doing an amazing job. Why? Because they're maintaining the balance. They are maintaining what is important. If you can see here, <clears throat> the man is holding two pentacles. And one is very lightly uh, holding the pentacle while the other one is gripping it. What does this represent? It represents that sometimes we have to take hold or we have to maintain um, focus, right, while handling other things. You don't necessarily have to put all your, basically, you don't always have to put your all into something that you're doing. You can maintain focus or uh, constantly be watching something while you're handling. So it's a multitasking card. It is, uh, and obviously if it shows up, it represents you or the client is doing a very amazing job at it. Now, we're not gonna go into inverted cards. Why? Because it's quite simple, like I told you. I see often people that teach the tarot uh, really go into inverted positions and I feel like it makes it much more difficult for uh, people that are barely learning the tarot. It is very simple and keep it basic. Whatever you're learning about the card <laughs> that is straightforward or that is upright, think of it as it's quite simple. It's just the opposite of that. So as an example, the two of pentacles inverted. It is the opposite of have, have being able to handle everything. It represents that the person or client that is doing the reading is sucking at juggling they are uh having or they have absolute no control over certain situations in their life it could be that they are not handling their finances so this would represent as an example a person that spends too much money more than what they're making um it can represent that the partner or the person that they're in a relationship with is um a bit selfish. They, they're, they're not necessarily present. They're not necessarily doing what is expected of them. So as I mentioned, not going to go deep into the inverted, just know and understand that it's just the opposite of, of the card being um, upright. Okay. Moving along. The three of pentacles. This is a beautiful card because it represents um, collaboration. It speaks about everyone having the same focus, the, the same determination to achieve or attain a goal. This is a very good omen when doing a reading for business or for if you're thinking of doing some type of investment or if you're looking to go into some type of partnership, business partnership. If you get this card, this is an amazing omen as well because it represents that everyone is going to be working together. Everyone's going to be collaborating. Everyone is going to be putting the same effort and energy to be able to attain or achieve the same goal or outcome. So think of this card as um, there is this uh, saying <laughs> that I often that I often tell my clients when I see the three of pentacles, it is basically, um, I can't think of it now. I just went completely blank. But um, my point to this is that this is an amazing card because it does represent uh, everybody being on the same page, everyone having the same uh, desire to succeed or to get the same outcome, everyone, everyone being in synchronization, um, genuine uh, interest in whatever it is that you're doing, succeeding. So uh, amazing card to get. And I don't know why you guys, I completely forgot 
the saying that I often tell my clients when you see this card, um, this is basically um, a collaboration card. It is the, uh, you know, oh, I remember it. There's no I in team. This card represents that. Every time I see this card, uh, when I was first learning to to do the tarot, um, what clicked in my brain was there's no I in team. That's what this card represents. Moving along, we have here the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Pentacles is a very interesting card. Um, why? Because it usually indicates um, this is basically about protecting what is yours. If you can see the card, the guy is sitting with uh, two pentacles in his feet um, and is holding another really tightly um, and has the fourth above his head. Uh, he looks really grumpy, but I don't think uh, that this is an inherently bad card. A lot of people in the world uh, equate possession with selfishness. It's more about taking care of yourself before you take care of other people. If you give away all of your food and starve, what good was was that? Uh, if you give your friends all your money and your electricity gets turned off, what was the point of that? Do you see what I'm saying? Um, the reason why I say it's a very interesting card is because I do notice that uh, people often see this or read it as if it was a negative card. But this is this card, when I see this card, it usually indicates self-preservation. It's about, like I just mentioned, how can you take care of others if you're not taking care of yourself? Sometimes there is a need for us to understand or take it a step back um, before we smother our kids or get them out of pinches that they're always putting themselves in, whether it's financially or whether it's emotionally, whatever the situation may be, um, instead of, you know, kind of smothering them or overdoing to try to recompensate uh, for things that perhaps you didn't have in childhood, as an example, um, you can be doing them more harm than positive. So the Four of Pentacles is here to remind you, sometimes you have to protect yourself, or sometimes you have to detach from a situation to let others be able to step up and take self-responsibility. So when I see this card, like I said, it usually indicates to me the need for self-preservation. Of course, keeping in mind, if it's inverted, it would be the complete opposite of that. Now, <clears throat> you have to be sure that you are cared for before you can adequately care for others. I saw this a lot um, when I was uh, working in a particular case and... Um, Basically, the caretakers would wear themselves out completely while making sure uh, their patient was okay. Uh, it's kind of the same, you know, the same um, uh, comparison that I gave to, you know, being a mother or a father, or having a child that often you're going above and beyond to give to them. Um, it's kind of like when you spoil your kids, right? Um, I usually have to kind of, you know, check <laughs> clients and be like, yeah, I understand your need for or desire to want to overcompensate or overgive because you didn't have when you were younger. But instead of doing them a favor, you're making them sm snotty, you're making them ungrateful, et cetera, et cetera. So it's kind of that type of energy here. Um, then they would wind up in the hospital with exhaustion or heart attacks because they weren't showing themselves the same respect that they showed their clients. Um, there are a lot of rocks in the field and distance between our fella and the town. I get the feeling that the distance is deliberate and that the rocks are representing difficulties uh, that he still has to go through to find peace of mind. He's being so protective of his stuff and stuff is and stuff is so tightly tied to emotion. The most important thing that you can ask yourself about, your stuff is, does it serve me? If not, it's time to find a new home. If so, then hold tight to it. Don't give up without a fight. Um, so again, it could have positive or negative depending on uh, the other cards that would follow. But usually uh, it would indicate having the need to protect, um, to protect yourself or to protect your possessions. Um, of course, if it's inverted, it would be just the complete 
uh, opposite of that, right? It would mean that you are over giving or over sharing or um, over over everything, basically. <laughs> and there is a need to self-preserve. There is a need to um, make or be able to uh, have some type of balance. Some type of balance is needed in this situation. All right. All right, my lovelies. Now moving along here with the five of pentacles. Um, five of pentacles is another interesting card down on your luck, being ill, being disconnected from hope. This card is really a punch in the stomach. I'm going to be honest. All of those things that keep you up at night, all of those things that you can't control that keep you up all night. You lost your job. You lost your love. Uh, the ground under your feet has shifted and things are going to be difficult for a while. If you look at the basic card, um, relief is right around the corner. The people are walking along the side of a church and you can see the warm glow um, of the church behind them. Uh, it could represent sanctuary is only a few steps further. Uh, the distractions are internal you're not grounded. If you can take a deep breath and lift your head, you'll be able to see help waiting for you. So it's an interesting card because it does represent um, being down on your luck. However, uh, the beauty in this card is that uh, if you look at uh, both the female and masculine, uh, they're kind of distracted and they're not really seeing that there is a light, right, that's coming through the window, that there is sanctuary, meaning that there is help around. Um, so it can represent internally feeling like you've lost control or like you don't have control over a situation that you currently may be going through. Um, but again, it does offer or it does give hope. It is about understanding that sometimes we have to detach from situations emotionally to be able to uh, think clearly, to be able to see clearly. Um, so this is a harsh card, but it can also represent um, being able to come out of it if you are able to put focus and look around you, okay? All right, moving along here with the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is, this card is about generosity both spiritual and financial. Um, can you give without judging? Can you take without feeling humiliated? Can you allow yourself to enter into the ebb and flow of community? I think this card gets a bad rep because people perceive it as begging. That's not really accurate. Long ago when these cards were made, um, there was no charity organizations, no unity. Uh, or United Way, no Human Rights Council. If you were going to give uh, to those who were less fortunate than you, you did it in one of two ways um, or one of two places, and it was in a church or in the street. If we take the money aspect away from the pentacles, we can call this generosity, generosity of spirit, of body, or mind. This can be uh, listening to a friend, being a kind and caring lover, helping a child find their lost parent. Uh, when you give of yourself, that's the six of pentacles. Money is in there too, but money is not just a tool. It's what you do with it that is important. So again, when you get this card, it is uh, upright. It is a very positive card because it does indicate that help is around or that help is coming or that um, if you're trying to get some type of loan or if you are wondering if you're going to be getting um, that, uh, that raise that you've been working hard towards, this is a definite yes. This is about also remembering the importance of what it is to struggle or go through difficulty and the importance of knowledge when you get to the point of being financially stable. As we give out or as within, so without. So what you give out or what you put out into the world is also what you will receive. Of course, inverted is quite the opposite. This is a person that is only a taker, 
a person that is selfish, selfish, doesn't care about anyone else. Um, like I mentioned, not going to go into inverted because it's quite simple. It's just the opposite. Okay. Moving along here with the seven of pentacles. Now the seven of pentacles, um, this is the story of the little red hen. The hen planted the seeds, hoed the ground, weeded the garden, tended it, watered it, and then waited for it. This card is about hard work and waiting for that work to become something tangible. It's exhausting and annoying for those who are impatient. It's fulfilling and enchanting for those who can pace themselves. It reminds me of the Amanda Palmer song, In My Mind. She sings about waiting until she's older so she'll carefully look after things. Now, she's so busy that she can look at anything, but she sure she'll look when she's older. Um, so this card is a representation of putting in the work and uh, having or needing the time to uh, take a breather or to be patient more than anything. This can also be tied or connected to reminiscing or looking towards uh, what was already experienced in the past. Um, of course, depending on the cards that follow or the cards that are around, we'll tell you a little bit more about the story. But all in all, if you are impatient, this is definitely not a card you want to get in a reading because it does indicate having the need to detach from the situation so that you don't create more resistance. It's about surrendering and knowing how to be patient. All right, my lovelies, moving along here with the Eight of Pentacles. This is a beautiful card. I love this card. This is the Apprentice card. This is the card of hard work and determination. This is uh, basically the Eight of Pentacles comes up a lot in readings for people who have just found a new job or started college or training uh, or some type of training program. This is a person who is honing their craft. I love it when it comes up for an artist or those in a healing profession. It's about finally finding your path and working your tail off to succeed in it. When you look at the card, you can see the successfully made pentacles hanging on the wall and on the ground um, discarded. This card is about being uh, discerning about your own work and not giving up until you get it right. So the reason why I love this card is because it does represent... Uh, being passionate and being focused about achieving some type of goal, uh, being really work, putting your nose to the grindstone. Um, but the beauty in this is that, you know, practice makes perfect type of thing. So whenever I look at this card, this what this is what would remind me that practice makes perfect. You can, there could be a billion of people that are doing the same thing you're doing, but if you go above and beyond and really are passionate about what you're doing, are excited about it, and want to know every single thing about your profession or about what you're learning or about what you're training, you will most definitely succeed in it. Why? Because the distinction between, like I said, there could be 20,000 people doing the same thing you're doing, but the distinction between you and them is, are you really passionate about it? And if you are, that's where... Um, that's where the energy of abundance, plentifulness, and opulence comes in because it is being rewarded for hard work and determination. Um, so beautiful, amazing card here. All right, moving along here with the Nine of Pentacles. This is another card that I absolutely love. I adore this card. Uh, this is the Nine of Pentacles, and it is, think of it as the Empress. Um the Empress energy, except it's a minor arcana. So with this card, uh, if you look at the woman's right hand, it's slightly resting above a pentacle as she admires a pretty bird on her left. There is no evidence here. There is no insecurity. There is a woman at peace in her garden breathing. It's lovely, really. This card speaks to gratitude and confidence. It's about treating yourself as well as you treat the people you love. And it's the result of hard work and perseverance. Uh, perseverance. This is the uh, this is the bounty that uh, the Seven of Pentacles was working so hard to uh, uncover. 
This is the fruits of the perfectionism of the eight of pentacles. So if you think about it, the seven of pentacles is being patient, right? Being patient and hard at work. Eight of pentacles is putting all your energy focus and um, intensity and passion and focus into what you're doing, into the labor that you're doing to finally be able to experience the nine of pentacles, which is the basically the 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 energy of opulence, of abundance, of uh, having more than enough and being able to or being blessed to share. Um, this can also represent, as an example, in a love reading, it can represent a female or a masculine energy, doesn't matter, um, but it would represent that they have been quite on a journey or are currently on a journey of finding themselves and learning the importance of self-love. This is the singlehood card. It represents um, not being attached to anything or anyone and being able to love yourself so unconditionally that you are finally prepared to go towards the 10 of pentacles, which is the beginning stages of building or to create or being ready to go, put yourself out there. Um, as an example for you know relationships and love, it could represent that you're coming out of, depending the cards that are around it, it could represent that you're coming out of the cycle of your singlehood. Um, like I said, it does depend the cards that would follow or what ensue, but it is a beautiful, beautiful card. All right, moving along here, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Obviously, another amazing card. This is um, an amazing omen. Uh, when doing a reading for a client and they want to know what if whatever decision they're making is going to be a positive one. This is about sharing your wealth and there is a lot of wealth, whether it's emotional or spiritual wealth. You have it in abundance and are more than willing to share. It's about inheritance, financial stability, and charity. There is a lot of family legacy in this card. It's not always money that gets graciously passed on. Pentacles are generally about patterns in your life. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is usually a pattern you didn't design and indicates being unable or unwilling to separate the opinions and needs of <clears throat> others from those that are truly yours. Uh, you can't see the tree for the forest, I suppose. It's good to be a part of the forest even after. Uh, even arguments need to come from a place of love. This isn't about separating ourselves from other people or dismissing them or their opinions. It's about being among people without basing your emotional health or well-being on them. That's a load that they don't need to carry, although it seems like a lot of people want to these days, right? Um, but when you get the Ten of Pentacles, it's, it does indicate... Uh, major financial stability, uh, being able to get to a point financially where perhaps you haven't experienced so much stability in the past. It is about legacy. It is about inheritance. Um, it is about creating or making your own home life or your home. Um, uh, this would indicate, you know, everything that has to do with family dynamic. All right, moving along here. Now we're going to get into the royals. And what are the royals? The royals are, uh, we have the pages, we have the knights, we have the queens, and we have the kings of each suit. Obviously, we're doing pentacles, so we have here the page of pentacles. Now, one of the things that is important to uh, keep in mind is that when we're talking about the royals, these are characteristics that could symbolize or represent a person's physical aspect or the energies that the person possesses. Now, when we're talking about pages, knights, queens, and kings, you have to understand that every single um Every single royal, regardless of what its suit is, as an example, we're doing here, pentacles, but this could represent for all of the pages, for all of the knights, for all of the queens and all the kings, they have the, obviously the suit that they're connected to. As an example here, the page of pentacles, 
is connected to the suit, obviously, of pentacles, which is earthly bound. However, pages um, usually uh, represent feminine um, energy, and it usually indicates earthly bound. So whether it's the page of pentacles, whether it's the page of swords, whether it's the page of wands or the page of water, it still has the spirit of the element of earth. But of course, their main energy would be that of their suit. So as we can see here, the page of pentacles, page of pentacles is earthly bound. And obviously it represents the pentacles. Now, Page of Pentacles uh, is a very thoughtful and introspective um, and is learning how to be themselves, uh, choosing his friends wisely or her friends wisely, uh, finds excellent counsel, definitely grounded and growing up uh, well. This page is just a great goofy uh, physical and takes good care of themselves. The energy is light, honest, and really, really genuine almost a gosh and golly um, kind of innocence. Uh, this innocence can turn against them, though, when it slips into immaturity. Romantic, creative, playful, uh, admirable. So this usually, to me, uh, pages usually indicate teenagers or uh, whoever's consulting, whether it's a client or whether it's for yourself. Pages of Pentacles obviously do decipher or do communicate some type of communication, uh, but more so having to do with setting out on a journey. If the client or yourself do does have children, it would usually represent children that are in their teens, um, in their teens era <laughs> or years. Um, moving along here. Now we have here the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles, all knights are a representation or have the spirit of air. Uh, so as you can see here, the Knight of Pentacles is Pentacles, obviously. So it would represent the um, energy of earth with the spirit of air. And air is communication. It is about um, intellect. Uh, so this is earthly bound because it is the Knight of Pentacles. So it would represent uh, setting out on a journey or going towards some type of journey or receiving some type of message that could have prolonged or could have taken a bit. Why? Because Pentacles are always, uh, when we're talking about time restrictions, it is something that takes a little bit more time, uh, which is why uh, is not very uh whatever goals or aspirations are not very easily maintained when they do happen. It's because you've earned it. It's because you've gone above and beyond to be able to receive uh, that reward or receive that uh, opportunity. Now, the knight isn't uh, as kinetic as the others. He's a bit shy and feels a bit awkward because it is pentacles, you guys. Uh, he feels the best when he's at home. He's smart, thoughtful, and grounded but not the most engaging person in the world. Grounded, reliable, has to live honorably. He keeps a stiff upper lip and all of that. Eyes straight ahead. His horse has all four feet on the ground and it is um, and his big stocky thing too. This guy isn't afraid of hard work and he's very considerate and thoughtful. So out of all the knights, I would say that to me, when I see the Knight of Pentacles, it indicates to me the most honorable of all of all the knights, um, the one that is most uh, serious or the one that takes things very seriously. Uh, they don't mind the hard work and uh, basically to achieve whatever goal or aspiration they have. It does represent um, a person that is very, very reliable. Um, this could symbolize a person or an energy of a person that is between the ages of 21 to, I would say, 29, maybe even 30. Um, when we're talking about love and romance, getting knights are not necessarily um, very mature. However, you do want, you would prefer to have a knight or a king versus getting a page in the energy of your partner or person of interest. And out of all the knights, the Knight of Pentacles is most definitely the type of energy that is very mature for their age. All right, moving along here. 
we're going now with the Queen of Pentacles. Now, like I had mentioned to you guys, um, when we're talking about queens, all of the queens, because it's female energy, represents or has the spirit of water. So it's the element, sorry, the spirit of water with the element of here with the Queen of Pentacles, the element of pentacles. So every feminine energy, any queen of any suit is going to be carrying water spirit because it's female energy. Um, now here we have the Queen of Pentacles with the spirit of water. So Queen of Pentacles is a um, mother. Mother does take care of everyone, even if taking care of them means isolating themselves for a while. She does what she can with what she has. I always expect uh, the Queen of Pentacles is about to slip out of her throne and sit in the grass. She's the quint quintessential earth mother and this lovely warm spirit. She is wealthy, either spiritually or financially or both. She's nurturing, kind, and a bit strict. She puts us in touch with honest, with honesty, home, memories, and family. Now, Queen of Pentacles is earthly bound, like I mentioned. So it is a usually would indicate a person that is very grounded, or a person that would uh, represent uh, the earth element. Um, which would be, you know, queen, uh, sorry, which would represent like Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo type of energy. Um, this is a very nurturing, um, very nurturing motherly type of energy. This is, uh, if it is uh, representing the Quarren's uh, wife or their partner, it would usually indicate someone that's very homey or that makes their home a priority. Uh, and by home, I mean the home that they've created or that they've built together. Uh, very much um, mature. Uh, this is the type of woman that would indicate or would represent the entrepreneur. This is someone that can do everything. Uh, she is motherly and nurturing at home, but she knows how to make money. She knows how to administer money. Very smart, um, very capable because obviously it represents the pentacles and pentacles is earthly bound. All right, my lovelies. And finally, king of pentacles like i mentioned does not matter the suit when we're talking about kings keep in mind that they have the spirit of fire which is masculine energy here we have the king of pentacles with the spirit of fire so kings uh specifically king of pentacles is uh definitely a representation of <coughs> um the king is a bit conservative uh, he is grounded, centered, and um, very uh, unquestionably in charge. He doesn't need to shout or wave his arms around to get attention. He pretty much just has to enter a room because he has an intense presence. He has a very strong worth ethic and is easy to respect. He is strong and quiet and hard to forget. There is a cool thing about the suit of pentacles. They're about being grounded. You can imagine the pentacles being on um, being on the ground and helping you align with your surroundings, being one with the land. The king of pentacles is respected and loved by his people and family. So when we get the king of pentacles, it would usually indicate masculine energy uh, this is a person that could be a bit reserved. This is a person that, much like the Queen of Pentacles, is very good with making money or administering their finances. This is a person that knows how to get things done. This is someone, um, or the energy of this character uh, would represent someone that is either uh, financially stable or someone that has been in their career or in their field for quite a while and is highly um, respected in that field uh, or respected in their position, whatever it is that they do. This is the type of person that walks in a room and gets attention by their demeanor. This is not necessarily the loud and uh, very, uh, what's the word, introverted, um, not introverted, sorry, uh, extroverted, like the king of wands. Uh, King of Pentacles is much more reserved. 
But I think that that's one of the main reasons why they stand out. That's one of the reasons why they there's a mystery to this King of Pentacles um, because they're not as, you know, as they seem to be. And when you are around this person or when you're dealing with this person, there's a lot of curiosity there because you wonder, is there more to the story? Is there more to getting to know them? It takes them a while to open up and could all be obviously represent Earth energy, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gave you guys um I hope that this gave you guys a good general information, good general um, idea of the pentacle suit. Let you guys go now, but uh, you guys definitely stay tuned, like, share, and comment, and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye.